Joe Biden has been in office over 100 days now. On a scale of one to 10, what's the grade we're giving him? Zero. One. Zero. I think he's doing about how we expected him to be doing, so about a five. Are negatives allowed? Yeah. I'm trying to think of a number past negative infinite. Hey everybody, I'm Cabba Phillips with The Daily Wire. We're here in Nashville, Tennessee, talking to people about Joe Biden. Scale of one to 10, how's he doing? What has he done? Can you think of anything? Let's find out. Zero, why? Zero. I think he doesn't know anything he's talking about. Negative one. I'd say about a three. Maybe a five. I don't know. I'd right in the middle. Yeah, like five or six, maybe. I'd give him 7.5. 7.5? All right. Why? Uh, two years of college free. That sounds absolutely great to me. I don't know about y'all. Uh, number two? I mean, look at him. Look what he's doing. I mean, he's unwriting everything that was messed up and bringing new, new laws in and kind of helping the whole, like, congregation if you ask me like so yeah one one all right i'd be done in the minus numbers between the five to seven range a two a two all right why so every uh all the chaos going on in the country you know so you got border crisis you got can't find workers you got crops can't get harvested because you don't have workers you got gas outages prices are going up wood's going up we're from the west coast we haven't been able to get propane for the last four months i would say about six 5.5. 4. 4? I'll give him a 5. He's doing a good job. I'd say a 6 too. What do you view as some of the things positively? That's on the positive side. What do you view positive? Um, right now I can only say maybe the stimulus check right now. But other than that, all the other things that he demanded, like me, I have student loans. He said before he got an office that he would defirm. That hasn't happened yet. That's Timmy check it though. So we got that. <laughs> we got that. Okay. His main accomplishment has been to destroy everything that we've accomplished over the past four years. Pretty much everything that the prior president had accomplished, which was amazing. I'm Israeli, so the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, I know a lot about it. There was peace all the years that Trump was president. Biden has been president for how long? And there's a war in the Middle East right now. Do you feel like he's visible enough or do you feel like he's kind of hiding out a lot? He's behind the scenes a lot. He He's not, what it is, he's not, as Trump was. He's not out on Twitter. He's not just mainstream. When's the last time you remember seeing Joe Biden? Oh, man. Huh. Yeah, uh, couldn't say. I couldn't tell you. I can't remember what I saw him do last because I haven't really seen much of him. <laughs> the fly on his head? No, that was Mike Pence. Oh God, I don't remember. <laughs> Definitely not as much as like we would see Trump. We would see him all the time, yeah. good or bad. But I feel like we haven't seen him at all. Yeah. Do you remember any? No. Probably the inauguration, probably on TV. <laughs> yeah, so know. the first day you became president. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Debates. <laughs> the debate. That's wild. He's he's president now though. That was before he was president. Yeah, I've not heard or seen. Oh, I have not seen him. I don't remember when seeing Joe Biden. Did that <laughs> speech and he was he referred to his wife as his husband or something like that. This is my little sister Valerie and I'm Jill's husband. Oh no, this is oh, you switched on me. This is my wife, this is my sister. They switched on me. That was so ridiculous. That was before he was president. Idiot. Yeah, probably. Yes. <laughs> Do you remember anything? Anything he's done? Besides like him saying um a lot when he talked? Yeah, uh, um, uh, in with, uh, with, uh, I don't know, uh, <laughs> like, I can't pick nothing else out. But free college. But free college. <laughs> I mean, I think they keep him behind the scenes uh -huh. because he speaks like a lunatic. He doesn't really... I think he's mentally ill. He doesn't make mm -hmm. sense. I, mean, I feel like Kamal is the one who mainly takes the lead between them. Do you think that Vice President Harris is kind of making decisions behind the scenes? I do. I do think so. I think he has some definite challenges mentally. I definitely think she's running the show behind the scenes. Kamala Harris, there's a whole backstory behind that. So, no, I don't, I like Biden so far. What's the backstory? I gotta know. I, uh, I don't know, it just, I don't know. I don't feel like she would be a great president, you know. I think there's somebody running the country and it's not Joe Biden. If this camera was beamed into Joe Biden's living room, he's sitting in his pajamas, he's watching the screen, what would your message to him be? If you don't think that you can, uh, uh, make it for the next four years or three years, get out now. Criticisms from the left on Trump were ridiculous. 
And now there's no criticism of Joe Biden. He doesn't take questions. I can, I'll circle back. Take some questions, put your people out there, but do the right thing and play fair. I feel like I would like send him cookies and some warm milk or something. Like that's kind of what I picture when I see him. I'm like, this is like a nice old man that like, you know, needs a bedtime story and some cookies. I would say do what you said you were gonna do. Do you mind if I ask if I if you voted for him? I did vote for him. Awesome. Yeah. So you voted for him. Do you feel any kind of remorse? You're saying he's not doing what you thought he would do. I don't feel remorse because I wanted Trump out, but I feel like it's the lesser of two evils, you know? He seems like a nice guy. It's like I like after all of this like I guess the drama that America and like the whole world is going through, I think I'm just like, man, just like let loose. You know, he's a funny guy. Like he makes jokes, you know, he's a funny guy, so I want more of that. Appreciate it uh, for the two years of college free. The third one can come out the pocket. So um, keep doing what you're doing. Don't listen. Pay attention. Joe Biden. Trump should still be president. Trump 2024.